Member for Caribouchil Coton. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. It is indeed an honour to rise and take the opportunity to commend the 100 Mile House District Blind and Visually Impaired White Cane Club and, of course, Lori Fry, who leads this initiative with respect to the efforts to protect not only those people visually impaired, but all of the residents of 100 Mile House and the surrounding area also. Their most recent effort will see visible colour contrast on things like stairs and railings, poles, curbing and curb cuts throughout the community. The White Cane Club, of course, invites all businesses and residents to get involved with the, this initiative that will undoubtedly create a much safer and brighter downtown core for all of our residents. All the while increasing accessibility, helping to remove barriers and reducing the risk of injury, the White Cane Club points out prevention is the best way to avoid injury. Mr. Speaker, this is all happening in 100 Mile House at no cost to business. It is as simple as reaching out to the White Cane Club and they will work out the details. They're grateful to the South Caribou Business Centre, District of 100 Mile House and the South Caribou Chamber of Commerce for the supporting the initiative already. And while it has been delayed due to the pandemic, they're very eager to get started again. This is a perfect example of an excellent community project that I'm sure all of our community will support. And today, I just wanted all of the House to join me in congratulating the 100 Mile House and District Blind and Visually Impaired White Cane Club on this fabulous initiative for the benefit of our entire community. Thank you.